Welcome back fellow collectors. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. Today we will be taking a look at the Lego Batmobile. This is the Tumbler from the Dark Knight Trilogy. This is about the same size or same scale as the 1989 Batmobile that Lego came out with a few years back that we took a look at. Anyway, this is the second version of that Tumbler. The first one, when it first came out, I didn't get the chance to get it, but when they offered it a second time with of course there's a few little uh, changes that they did to it but still it's about the same well of course I'm gonna go get it because I want to add that to my already you know collection I have the Batwing I have the 1989 Batmobile the, the from the Michael Keaton movie and this one is from the Dark Knight trilogy the Christian Bale movie so hopefully who knows maybe they'll come out with another Batmobile that's based on a uh, 1966 Batmobile hopefully of the same scale and of course I did get the Technique version of the Batmobile from the upcoming movie this coming Friday so guys watch that movie I got that and we'll do that on a future build and review but before we do all that guys I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up share it and please if you're not a subscriber consider becoming a subscriber and for those who are subscribed to my channel already Thank you very much for your support. I do uh, appreciate it. And please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you guys. And for those who doesn't have this uh, vehicle yet and would like to add it to their collection, I did leave links in the description below. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this Tumblr Batmobile. So guys, this is the tumbler, and this is the box. Not so well. There's a lot of creases in on this box because I ordered through Amazon, and sometimes, like I said, when you order from through the mail, it sometimes come in not the way you expect it to be, and you know it's not the fault of the shipper or how it's boxed, it's just, that's how it comes in, you know, when it, uh, when it gets thrown about in the, in the car, or the truck. But, hey, everything was intact. This is the tumbler, set 76240 with 2,049 pieces. This is the second version of the tumbler. I have some pictures of the old tumbler. I don't own the original tumbler, the first rendition of the tumbler. So there's some minor changes that they made, especially in the front and the wheel, the rear wheel or rear tire rather of this tumbler. But the box itself is really nice. It's like the 89. It's got a nice uh, shiny and kind of embossed uh, picture of the Batmobile and then you have the top and to give you some perspective on the scale of the vehicle once you complete it that's the actual size of the tire and wheel then you have the Lego symbol in the Dark Knight trilogy and you have a drawing of the Cape Crusader and then in the back is the rear picture of the Batmobile and also a picture of the one that they used in the movie. It's a little bit of the spec, 43.7 centimeters or 17.2 inches by 6.4 inches or 16.5 centimeters. It has a stand. A little different from the first version and it comes with the Joker, the Heath Ledger Joker and of course the Christian Bale Batman. I think they also had the same uh, characters on the first one except I think the Joker didn't have just the vest. I think he had the suit but quite nice. So let's go ahead and check out what comes in the box you do get a 
instruction booklet with this, of course. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't be able to assemble this uh, set, but it does show you a bit of a backstory in the development and design of the Tumblr by Lego. It also comes with a tool and shows you what it's used for and also the various uh, bags of parts and when assembled how they um, build up to the completion of the tumbler so you do get 11 bags of parts so that is kind of cool it shows you and it illustrates each bag as you complete each set it also comes with a sticker it tells you the specs of the tumbler also a little uh, some little stickers that are part of the control panel inside the tumbler so that's what you get along with this set now let's go ahead and lay it out we have the instruction booklet and the 11 or so bags of parts and once you complete it you will obviously end up with a very nice looking uh, tumbler based on the Dark Knight trilogy. So here it is. And then we'll move on to the build of this Dark Knight tumbler. Now starting from bag number one, it shows that as you build this model kit, you do end up appreciating the, the thought and the design that they put into making this set for the collector. It is a relatively easy build. It probably took me roughly two and a half to three hours if I combined everything because I did take my time building this kit or this set. I would do a bag and then call it a night and I'd come back the next day and do it again. And just the build itself was thoroughly enjoyable. I, from putting on the tires and the wheels and just looking at the the, uh, the progress that I, I made after one bag, it was very, it, it, it just shows how it was growing and, and turning into the tumbler. It was really enjoyable for me. And with the finished product, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And I think the only maybe drawback would probably be the display stand because it didn't really give you a good um, a stand on the on the kit itself. But other than that, like I said, and also some of the parts uh, tend to fall off if you touch it the wrong way. But overall very good looking piece i did put my own little touch on it by putting maybe one or one by four smooth bricks that i had laying around and i wanted to kind of smooth out some of the rough edges of the of this um, set but really not necessary it's just my own touch but overall i enjoyed this and i hope you do too so please enjoy the rest of this um uh, Tumblr. So here is the completed Tumblr. Very nice looking. I put it on the stand. It does sit at an angle because I put it a little bit different from the way they instructed the vehicle to be put in but I like it this way because you can actually display the Batmobile a lot better I in my opinion anyway and this is you can pull it down you can look at the underside where the uh, base connects to the vehicle and then you can just hold it up again and you have the specs but overall, I am very impressed with this vehicle. I like the way that this pops off so you can see the interior of the tumbler. That's kind of cool.
love that it's fairly easy to uh, put back and take off now this is a display so it's not to be you know unless you want to play with it or unless your kid wants to play with it but a lot of these things aren't they can come off easily so you got to handle it very uh, very carefully because a lot of these they are just I mean they're they're pretty sturdy in the sense that they will stay but you play around with they're gonna fall off so and then I put my little touch on it got to put a little uh, flame coming out of the engine there the rocket engine and of course the difference with this tumbler is it's got these almost like tractor wheels versus the ones that came out in the first rendition which were a little bit smoother than that and also uh, the front here was more of just like a brick um, design rather than a window so I thought that was a nice little upgrade that they did um, and I think there were some differences in these as well um, I'm not sure what those are I think those are they act like absorbers or shock absorbers they, they move on well, the real vehicle anyway but so yeah I really like this vehicle I'm glad I had the chance to say own it for a to own it and get it a second time that when they offered it because I really wanted to have it and add it to my collection and the first version of this is a little bit more expensive than this one so when the opportunity came to get this I thoroughly I totally jumped to uh, and to get it <laughs> so anyway guys that is the tumbler love this vehicle I'm gonna add it to my uh, display stand along with the 1989 Batmobile and hopefully like I said Lego please make a scale version same scale version as this of the 1966 Batmobile that would be awesome all right guys one last look we'll turn him around and this is a tumbler from the Dark Knight trilogy what did you think guys I think this is a great Lego set Lego did a great job knocked it out of the ballpark with this model lego set and hopefully those who love legos or even battlefields in particular would get this set and add it to their collection i know i have and will add to my collection my ever-growing collection of batmobiles lego or otherwise anyway guys share this video if you like it and as always please consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and with that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and we'll see you soon.